chemistry systematic study of the chemicals in the chemistry itself various branches of chemistry are there including the engineering chemistry the fundamental basic chemistry are inorganic chemistry organic chemistry analytical chemistry physical chemistry as well as various applied biochemistry pharmaceutical chemistry polymer chemistry environmental chemistry so what over the materials involved that is the part of the chemistry chemistry itself is the systematic study of the chemicals the chemistry uh, came from the science science uh, the fundamental branch and one of the fundamental basic branch of science is the chemistry further uh, so many developments occurs uh, in the human by human being and uh, number of applications are there so therefore applied chemistry involved so, where whereas the nano materials nano chemistry itself is there so now today we start uh, we have the chemistry involved the fundamental thing and that is the atomic structure elements the smallest particle the atom and atom further can be divided into um, the three particles proton neutron electrons so that is the atomic structure atom how we can say that uh, what things are present in a very smallest very small but atom the main particle electron that is responsible for so many technologies so many chemical reactions number of uh, different technology including the semiconductor including the various different engineering works so on all those chemical reaction the electron other fundamental parameters for the different technology different number of technology involved the electrons so in an atom positive charge particle then the same number of the negative charge particle so proton plus charge electron negative charge whole of the atom neutral so the question is there what are the position of electrons present in an atom how the position of uh, electron is responsible for various physical chemical characteristics properties what over that so if electron is there and where is the position how we can say that a particular electron is present in this position If suppose we have the atom structure when in that particular case different electrons are arranged in a, uh, different orbits and different atom orbits so the question is there where is the electron present in an atom where is the electron present in, 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 in where is the electron present in a compound where is present in a metal semiconductors so the role of electron is there different types of con uh, conductor uh, then bad conductor semiconductors so conduction for of the electron for example copper is the conductor aluminum is the conductor conductor of electricity electricity conductor electron uh, then bad conductor the role of the 
electronohydro uh, uh, some uh, for example polythene is bad conductor of electricity copper is conductor of electricity aluminium is conductor of uh, electricity certain other ionic compounds are characteristics for the electron electrons behavior so electron is the most but question is there where it electron is there we say if suppose the map of india so where is the tamil nadu the position of the tamil nadu the position of assam the position of kashmir in a map in our india so in a country where it state and in a state where is the uh, district so similarly here also for a whole atom number of electrons arrange like that where is the district which state belongs for any person which district belongs to any so that particular gives information for the person so similarly here in atom the position of electron is there where is the position of electron uh, like a person uh, he lives in a village in a district uh, in a state a nation so similarly here the quantum numbers here we can say the uh, uh, if a whole country is divided into certain states and then certain states are further having the issue similarly here also the four quantum numbers and which shows the position of electron in an atom the technology suppose we have to see the different advanced technology the networking uh, how we can get the network so in that particular networking the role of uh, optical fiber so optical fiber itself is the purest uh, ultra pure glass so how the role of the electron that is because the ultra pure silicon uh, the glass is present in optical and that uh, gives a functional uh, of whatever the <coughs> moves uh, one information to another through the uh, optical fiber that is a uh, pipeline so here the question is there how that optical fiber functions in a net this is the technology similarly various communication systems various spectrum spectrum vary from one place uh, uh, varied from one wavelength to another electromagnetic ultra wave visible radiation infrared radiation different radiations so that is also the part of the electron electrons are absorbed or emitted then certainly the certain energy is absorbed or emitted then certain spectrum so by that we can say in uh, the quantum numbers are responsible quantum numbers explains the position of the now along with these there is what more thing is there when electron moves in an atom then various uh, shell various uh, shell uh, where he is a whole of the shell then their sub shell which one then the atomic orbital so three things are project, uh, are there when we have to talk about the orbits of an atom nucleus central nucleus 
proton and neutron those are in nucleus uh, in particles are in nucleus where the neutron no charge proton plus charge and surrounding the nucleus are the so this is a very good concept quantum numbers the numbers are given to the electron in an atom if you well known about the std code on uh, isd code and pin code so how we can give, say that the the pin code of the le is 111111 pin code of uh, this is 4444 pin code 302302 what over that so that is the numbers and by that number we can identify the post office whatever that particular uh, uh, the pin code are so here also the codes and those coding are the for the electron position so so then we can definitely the that uh, the position of electron there but one more thing is there because uh, he, electrons have the velocity and they continuously move so therefore where is present but here the concept of, uh, that is given the atom orbital the orbital having the maximum probability of finding the electron maximum probability of finding the electron is called the atomic orbital so all these things are the ans uh, their uh, problems the solution is the so quantum number explains the position and uh, however there will be the energy also concerned px py pz in case of the t orbital <coughs> dx y y uh, so now yes so this one uh, explain that how we can say what are the what yes so atomic structure all of you well known about the atomic structure where the protons where the electrons neutron this already we have to discuss the atomic structure and now after that electron negative charge proton positive charge so where we can say this is the atom structure. Atom structure, the electrons continuous. Nucleus, protons. Nucleus, neutron. Charge in Coulomb, that is 10 to the power minus 19. Coulomb, the magnitude. In proton, but that is the positive one. The negative magnitude is for the electrons. So quantum number tells us where is the electron in an atom. What we have, if suppose we ourselves, we can say where is the, our position, where we are uh, living, where we are standing, where we are talking. So that is the position. So similar to that, if human being say that I have the position here say the longitude and altitude at the geographical concern so where we are what is the longitude value what is the altitude number of geographical parameters so similarly here also the quantum number concerned with the specific and that can define, that can definitely give us the, where is the electron. So now uh, we have to see this uh, function. Electrons, protons, neutrons, those are the subparticle of uh, an atom. So now, there are, <laughs> whatever 
we have earlier discussed about the pin code we have earlier discussed about uh, the india the india then the uh, tamil nadu tamil nadu then we have the chennai similarly in case of the uttarakhand we have the dehradun so here the pin code pin code of that particular uh, locality so there are in case of the atom the electrons present so there are four quantum number and what they tell <laughs> if anyone say that uh, where he lives say uh, if any name is given dehradun is he, can, he or she can live but uh, where is the dehradun what is the pin code whether uh, with the help of pin code we can identify the city yes or no so uh, uh, this is very difficult to answer uh, when if suppose we have uh, a mail if we have uh, a mail that can given so that place uh, so the segregation and uh, it is very difficult for the post office so what they have they have in their uses the pin code number similarly in a vehicle because the transportation system that is the vehicle itself four wheeler five wheeler there is specified uh, vehicle numbers are given what they tell the state then whatever there is the state num district so if uh, we have the india and then rajasthan so rajasthan represented by uh, the short name uh, rj and then the districts uh, uh, districts given their specific number rj 14 and then we have to get the numbers so the question is there there are four quantum numbers which are considered for specify the electrons and their position the main quantum main quantum number principal quantum main so main itself is the shell number and this can be from 1 2 3 4 5 infinite whatever the periodic table is invention invented so many so principal quantum number which is represented by small n and which defines the shell number for example coconut fruit coconut so in case of the coconut there are certain shell shell so shell number is the principal quantum number and which defines that uh, that particular electron is present in this shell n is equal to one two three so if n is equal to three then say the third or orbital orbits that is the third shell that can be represented by the principal quantum second is the angular momentum quantum this particularly further the size all of you are well known about the size. Size uh, that uh, the size of a state. Okay. The size of Uttar Pradesh. So, what about the size of the Uttarakhand? So, here also the size can be represented by that particular numbers and energy of the orbit. These are whatever the angular momentum number can be represented by small n and uh, small n angular momentum so with the help of the second quantum number and that is the also called the subsidiary angular momentum quantum number one name the subsidiary quantum number another name so this supports the main quantum number and which is uh, the size and energy of the orbital can be explained. The magnetic quantum number that defines the information about the number of orbitals in a subcell and their orientation. 
this one is also important so uh, we have to see the uh, uh, principle azimuthal magnetic these three uh, uh, are uh, relevant with the atom structure uh, relevant with the electrons so atomic structure then negative part charge uh, char uh, part charticle and uh, so electrons and electrons are in the three different place the not three different place but the place is the same but the three numbers are given so by using the three number we can say that electron specific electron for example in case of the sodium the 11th electron where is the present so this definitely defines the quantum number so with the help of quantum number we can say that this electron is eighth in the sodium this electron is seventh we can give the uh, identification why not means uh, any of the uh, for example the naming of the stone the students so mohan and kamal both are different so they can be easily distinguished one is the kamal another is uh, any of that that mohit so kamal and mohit two different students so we we distinguish by the uh, by the name we can call where is the kamal where is the uh, ganesh so this represents so it is very definite so we can say that uh, with the use of uh, these four quantum number however we can use only here the three main subsidiary the main energy level of atom second uh, so main that is the principal quantum number second is the subsidiary subsidiary or angular momentum quantum number third one is the magnetic quantum that is more specific so in a uh, shell then sub shells then we have the magnetic uh, th that is th the magnetic quantum so three different so how we can say that how we can give the uh, uh, number of uh, these uh, quantum numbers 1 2 3 what are the number so which one is the zero which one is uh, where you can give the two answer where you can give the one answer where you can give the zero so zero one two three these numbers are this one two three four five six seven so these are the, the math mathematical uh, uh, the numbers can be given to the quantum numbers principal quantum number 1 2 3 4 5 six then further eight in case of the azimuthal quantum number this have also 0 1 2 3 4 and similarly in case of the magnetic quantum number those are represented by minus l in a subset to plus l so here the four different quantum numbers whatever i have discussed only of uh, uh, but the five, fourth one is also there okay earth our planet where we live where the life is there so the earth itself how earth moves from one side to the then whole round of uh, uh, whole round of uh, orbital is taken so here uh, the for example in case of the earth we have the day night one thing we have the year this is what is the name of the year 2021 so this one is the year so how much we have so here similarly 
the spin quantum number is also one of the important so what we have i am telling the rotation of earth 24 hours within 24 hours day and night forms so day and night this is of 24 hours again so similarly in an atom there is also continuously movement not too similar to that but the continuously electrons rotate rotate continuously and this rotation like a uh, whatever that can be clock the clockwise rotation or anti clockwise rotation that represented by the spin quantum number so now we have to see the four different quantum numbers and they are represented by principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number. There, the symbol used for these quantum numbers are the principal quantum number small l n, the angular momentum quantum number small l, so small n and small l. So L is represented by the angular momentum, quantum number, which defines the size and energy of the orbital, the magnetic quantum number, which defines the information about the number of orbitals in a subcell and their orientation. One more thing is there, how we can orient. The earth changes, earth orients, then we get the by orientation of earth we get different climatic conditions seasons summer winter rainy so how this is the orientation so similarly here the orientation is concerned with the magnetic quantum number so with the help of magnetic quantum number we can say that particular is uh, uh, having the, so this one the area orientation so what we have the spin quantum number uh, one more thing is there whatever i have given the example of the coconut so in case of the coconut various orbits like those orbits are present in a coconut and these uh, shells contains the electron. So similar to that, here the quantum number can be represented by the shell number, subcell number, orbitals number, and then further we get the electron. So now the question is there. That is the first of all the shell this is the principal quantum number represented so l represented by the subcell n small n that is represented by the shell number then m that is the orbital then in case of the s that is the spin quantum number for the electron so positive uh, so whatever the electron concern so here the shell number subcell number orbitals value and then electrons with the plus orientation plus so in case of the electron there is the rotation continuously the clockwise so those are also represented this one is the fourth quantum number so with the help of this diagram the shell subcell level main level then inside the main level the subcell level then we have then atomic orbitals so here atomic orbital for example if we have to discuss about the carbon so what uh, the atomic number of carbon is how many electrons are present in a carbon 
how many electrons are present in a carbon and how we can say the uh, the quantum numbers of those electrons are defined and the values are there for the quantum numbers now along with this the shell number the sub cell number then the magnetic quantum number that is of orbital we can say that but present electron is where question is there where electron whether that is in uh, uh, in a particular orbital where for example in case of the uh, atomic orbitals we have already discussed about the p atomic orbitals the d atomic orbitals f atomic orbitals and what are the values of uh, these shell number shell number represent the main quantum number principal quantum number <coughs> sub cell number that is the azimuthal quantum number. that can be also represented by this orbital atomic orbital electrons spin quantum number clockwise anti clockwise so definitely we can give the shell itself is the main quantum number the principal quantum number sub cells azimuthal quantum number and this can be represented by small l so sub cell then we have the atomic orbitals and atomic orbitals are very fine and uh, how we can say that uh, the electron so there definitely there is a certainly involvement of the quantum number these are the symbol is there and the possible values number numbering 1 2 3 however here other numbers zero also involved in regular momentum quantum number why zero is there in case of the uh, magnetic quantum number there is also the one zero in minus value also so how we can we can say the magnitude is also important negative positive negative one positive one negative two positive two negative three and negative positive three so these are the number and one more plus half minus half clockwise okay then the continuously this electrons moves like this so uh, further we have the minus value then zero value and then plus value in case of the spin quantum number the plus half on minus half. plus half the electrons moves okay so plus half the continuously electrons rotation towards the clockwise rotation is there and continuously this can be <coughs> in shell in sub cell in a atom so let's see principal quantum number is represented by the possible value represented by n values 1 2 3 4 5 and definite angular momentum quantum number is small l 0 1 2 and 3 the formula uh, small n minus 1 so small n minus 1 so if suppose that uh, the, that can give the if n is equal to 2 then how many sub cells are there n is equal to 3 how many number of sub cells are there so the here <coughs> principal quantum number this say that if principal quantum number 2 is there so what will be the value of uh, the angular momentum quantum number if value uh, if is the value of uh, principal quantum number is 3 so if 
when we have the number number uh, how many number principal quantum number limited so if a principal quantum number is 2 so in that particular case there will be the two subcell if n is equal to 1 then one subcell and n is equal to 3 then three subcells are there and this can be represented by the small l that is the magnetic quantum number so here magnetic quantum number can be represented by the small l the values in a principal quantum number so principal quantum number values are suppose 2 so there will be two answer uh, then 0 and 1 so here n minus 1 is also taken n is the principal quantum number so n is equal to 2 so 2 minus 1 is the 1 so here and 0 0 to n minus 1 such numbers are there if n is equal to 3 then 0 1 and 2 3 sub cells are there in case of the uh, okay now magnetic quantum numbers are in a subset magnetic we say which state then district so state district so districts are in a specific state gujarat district uh, gujarat district then gujarat districts are there so here subcell then in a subcell are the magnetic quantum whole not a whole magnetic quantum number in a subcell and their values from minus l to plus so this one is the magnetic quantum number and this uh, magnetic quantum number can be represented by that so n is equal to 2 then there minus 2 and minus 1 and 0 and plus 1 and plus 1 so here we can say and then the spin quantum number the spin quantum number itself is represented by their the spinning spinning spin 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 like that spin that is either clockwise spin or anti clockwise spin so clockwise spin the plus r anti clockwise spin the negative okay so now uh, we have to come towards the principal quantum number. Principal quantum number, <coughs> you can see, nucleus, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. So, nucleus and then different orbits, different shell, different main orbits. So, here the principal quantum number, the larger the value of n, the further the shell is from the nucleus. Nucleus is, uh, so, so if suppose n is equal to 3, so that is far from the centrally nucleus. As the value of n increases, the energy gap between the successive shells are increases, decreases. So what we have like that suppose one and two then the gap between the shell will be decreased so this one is the principal quantum number second one uh, magnetic uh, that is uh, here i can say after the principal quantum number there is the angular momentum quantum number. so this angular momentum quantum number represents angular momentum quantum number this one itself is in principal quantum so this one the shell a sub cell number and the values 0 1 2 and 3 so okay so here we have after the third one and third one itself is uh, we can say here azimuthal quantum so azimuthal quantum number uh, if uh, uh, they are principal quantum number 0 1 2 3 4 and then azimuthal quantum number represented by the 
small l and those varied from minus l to plus l so after uh, this uh, these two the principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number we have the third one and that is the magnetic quantum number magnetic quantum number represented by the m small m l and the values are magnetic quantum number values are in a subset or in a angular quantum number what we have principal quantum number have the angular quantum number principal quantum number 2 then the two are the angular quantum number if n is equal to 2 then l will be 0 and 1 so how we can say that 0 to n minus l so if suppose 3 n is equal to 3 then 0 1 and 2 will be the azimuth now the magnetic quantum numbers are in 1 magnetic quantum numbers are in 2 in in 3 and those are the azimuthal quantum numbers so first of all uh, we can say here only represent uh, we are giving the azimuthal quantum the azimuthal quantum number minus l to plus l and uh, is s is subshell and where subshell is uh, l is equal to 0 and so m is equal to also 0 in an s subshell there is only one orbital and there is only so the value of uh, m is also 1 for a p subshell this is for the whatever we have discussed about that the prince f uh, the p sub cell having the l is equal to 0 and so m uh, magnetic quantum number will be from minus 1 including 0 so minus 1 0 and plus 1 in the p sub cell there are three atomic orbitals so there are the three values of the magnetic quantum number now the spin whatever i have discussed about the spinning of uh, electron spin clockwise and anti clockwise so pauli's exclusion principle states that no two electrons can have the same for one number so here two electrons whatever those two electrons are present in the same orbital same atomic orbital but there is the different spin quantum number like that one is another this means that if an orbital is holding two electrons then the electron must be spinning in opposite direction to one another so this one here the values plus of for spin quantum number plus of for spin quantum number is given to the clockwise electron the electron moves the clockwise and another the electron moves so this will there will be the pair pair of electron so plus half as well as the minus half this one the well known we have already discussed now this one this is uh, two electrons are there and all of you are well known about the atom the element which contains two electrons are the helium so we can represent the different numbers the position of electron where is the maximum probability of finding electron so that is the orbital so atomic orbital consider the quantum numbers of the two electrons in the 1s orbital 1s Uh, if suppose uh, all of you are well known about that uh, in case of uh, different elements the electronic configuration whatever we have already discussed the pauli's exclusion principle so no four 
वन क्वांटम नंबर डिफर इन एन एटम हैविंग द डिफरेंट इट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो वट ओवर इफ सपोज वी हैव टू से द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द कार्बन सो कार्बन सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो ऑल सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हैव वन क्वांटम नंबर डिफर ऑफ एनी ऑफ द टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर इन ए कार्बन सो वी कैन से दिस वन एंड दिस वन डिफर इन वन ऑफ द क्वांटम नंबर दे मैन बी डिफर एंड दिस इज द एक्सक्लूजन प्रिंसिपल सो हियर वी कैन टेक द एग्जाम्पल हाउ टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर फिल्ड इन यस वन एस फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन द सेकेंड इलेक्ट्रॉन एन इज इक्वल टू वन एन इज इक्वल टू फोर सेकेंड इलेक्ट्रॉन एन इज इक्वल टू वन एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो और एम आई एम दिस इज जीरो मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर बोथ है जीरो बट द फोर्थ क्वांटम नंबर डिफर बिकॉज द स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई स्मॉल एस और एम एस सो हियर द प्लस ऑफ फॉर द फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड माइनस सो हियर वी कैन सी द कंपेयर एन इज इक्वल टू वन एन इज इक्वल टू वन एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एम आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड हियर द स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर आर द प्लस प्लस हाफ एंड देन द सेकेंड हाफ सो हियर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच आर गिवन the proton neutron and whatever the quantum numbers so we can conclude the position of electron in atom and that position of an electron in atom can be given by the four defined specific numbers One or two, three, four, five, zero, plus one, plus half, uh, plus half, plus two. Uh, they are the minus two, minus one, minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two. So that's plus one, plus two. So here we can say minus two, G minus one, zero, plus one, and plus two. so this one is this example is of the d sub cell so what happen d sub cell having the azimuthal quantum number that is represented so here the uh, the position of electron can be shown by the principal the azimuthal the magnetic and last one the spin quantum so that's why because of this we can clarify that where is the electron so we we can say that uh, different new uh, technologies are involved for example in case of the battery system the cathode and anode is there so electron transport what over the technology electric vehicle in case of the electric vehicle the battery is the role of the battery so various uh, in various scientists chemists uh, developed the number of uh, answers for that so battery itself that is for example lithium battery so what we have we have to see the electron movement that is responsible for the electric vehicle that is responsible for the battery so we can say further the electrons have the quantum number which quantum number so this is principal azimuthal the magnetic spin so in case of the hydrogen one electron so that's uh, in case of helium two electrons in case of the carbon the, the six electrons so definitely uh, numbers can define us then give the exact value of that can gives whatever we have so principal quantum number magnetic quantum number Azimuthal quantum number and spin. Okay, all the best.